So there's these two concepts we talk about in the book, collaboration versus cooperation. And a lot of people use the terms interchangeably, and uh, we try to make a true distinction for which each is. I think that school culture has pretty much been based on this idea of cooperation. Think about cooperative learning. Cooperating is where we bring maybe four kids together at the table, we give them each different roles, and then they have a task to achieve. We do the same thing with teachers. In cooperation, we could take any one of those members out and replace them with a different member, so take one kid out because he's not at school anymore and put a different child on that group, and the task would go on just as it is because you could change out members and it didn't matter. Cooperation is where the focus is on the task. Collaboration is a totally different story, and collaboration is what we're really trying to move to with connected learning. Collaboration is where each person brings their unique skills, experience, giftings to the table and to the work and to the ideas. What they bring is so unique that if that person was taken out of the project, the work would suffer. It wouldn't be able to be completed in the same way. So collaboration is where I am taking what I've got vested into this, bringing my talents, bringing my passion, bringing my interest, bringing my experiences, and then we're mixing those together and the end product is something new and very different. Uh, cooperation often not so. Cooperation some, most of the time is just a task to be accomplished. And so that's what the distinctions that we make in the book between cooperation and collaboration. And I can just cut that last thing.